I think I could do more than this. I'm doing the same thing today that I did yesterday, that I did the day before that, that I did the day before that. I'm basically going around and around in circles, dealing with the same rocks and roots and branches and the same basic row after row after row. I've seen the same thing before. When you start thinking like that, you kind of look around to see if the other people are thinking that too. And, and you look at the other 11 men who are plowing behind the ox and they're smiling and they're laughing and you say, it must be me. I must be crazy. I must be crazy. This is a good job. This is, this is a good house. This is a good life. Everything, everything, everything. But some, somehow when you get greatness down in your gut, you, you, you want something that you can't even explain. Have, have, have you ever had something to bother you and, and you couldn't even tell anybody what was wrong? And they said, what was, what's wrong with you? You ought to be happy. This is the this is best situation. This is wonderful. Anybody would love to have your job. And you say, yes, I understand that. But something, something about it is bothering me. Something, something is bothering me about where I am. Something is bothering me that I've let 20 years pass me by and, and nothing is changing. I'm not seeing any development in my life. I'm not to the next level in my life and I'm going through the same routine over and over and over again I don't see any progress I don't see myself getting anywhere and it's starting to bother me a little bit I'm starting to wonder what, what's wrong and looked over there at 11 other people and they were completely satisfied I'm getting too excited let me call my son just because Bishop T.J. says so that you don't accuse me of being emotional finally after we know who we are after we recognize whose we are and after we understand or come to the realization of what we have yes. we then have the hardest task which is application yes. and here yes. is where we tend to fail mm -hmm. for we must first fully receive and believe in yes. order to achieve yes. you must first fully believe or receive and believe in order to achieve and when you've achieved, that's when you portray spiritual There are other therapists that don't rely on talking, like art and drama and play therapy. They don't rely on talking as much, and they still can heal people with traumatic, from traumatic situations. But I belong to a profession where talking therapy is key. So we talk, we have conversations, and through those conversations, we listen and hear ideas. And sometimes some people will grasp an idea and that fits for them. And they think, oh, maybe I can try that in a different way. Maybe I can think about that in a different way. Maybe I could do that in a different way. And that's how change happens. Again, let me emphasize that when this hits the mainstream some years from now, you'll be able to say, I heard it first at... From Panic to Power. Okay, Thank you. what about... If I were to shout at it, <laughs> what about if I were to put it on the floor and stamp on it for me? <laughs> Does that change the value? <laughs> what about you can pick it up? <laughs> what about if I were to rip it up, throw it away? <laughs> I won't. I won't actually rip it up. <laughs> Just imagine in your mind. <laughs> If I were to abuse it physically, emotionally, you know, would that change the value of it? No. And what I just wanted us to get to is that, that our own self value is way more than this 20 pounds. So it doesn't matter what happens to us in life or what we go through, our value is way more beyond rubies, diamonds, or any precious stone that you could think of. So it doesn't matter what situation we find ourselves in, what experience we find ourselves in, our value will not really, change. Really, really blessed to be here. I've learned so much today already, so thank you guys for what you shared. I've got to change my life. You know, it's as simple as that. So that's what I've learned so far, that I really need to change my life. I need to change my uh, my diet and I need to change definitely I need to look at my emotional life <laughs> so I've got a lot to learn so that's great and then you eliminate I can't say you totally eliminate it but you reduce the risk of these degenerative sicknesses that's what you're doing okay and for heaven's sake cut yeah, back on the dairy it product. doesn't matter how you got here God made you with purpose in 
mind. Amen? And being fully persuaded of the power of God in you. You've got God living inside of you. There's greatness in you. There is the only, I like what Maureen says. The only box that somebody will put me in is the six by four when they put it, put it on the ground. <laughs> Let nobody put you in a box. Don't box God in. Don't limit God in your life. Dare him. Like Gideon, say, you know what? I'm going to fleece you, God. Yes. I'm going to take you at your word. I'm going to try you out. And let me see if this happens. Yes. God says, prove me now yes. herewith. Yes. Amen? Yes. Be fully persuaded that what God has promised is able also to perform. Yes. If like Paul, you can be persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature can separate you from the love of God which you have in Christ Jesus your Lord. If like Paul, you could be that fully, fully, fully persuaded, you begin to operate with spiritual I don't need, I'm a dumb job, I don't need a dumb church, I don't need a dumb leader, and I don't need a dumb husband, I don't need a dumb wife, I don't need a dumb thing. I need, I need something that's going somewhere. I need something that's thinking, some, I need something that's going to another dimension because I think I got something down in me that's a little cultivated. I think I could run.